We open, viewers, on a tree. It is a strong, beautiful tree that has probably been standing for roughly around 20 years. Out from the shadows of God knows what dimension emerges a tree squirrel. The tree squirrel has received its name for commonly being found in heavily wooded areas. Our furry friend emerges from his leafy hiding place and ventures out to the great wide open, hoping to find a snack. The squirrel's name was credited from the old Greek word sikouros. The ancient Greek naturalists found their bushy tails remarkable as the meaning of sikouros is shadow tail. Obviously, the Greek naturalists believe squirrels to be powerful warriors of the wind. The squirrel is the Native American symbol for preparation and trust and thriftiness, similar to a best friend that you would trust with a baby. Squirrels mainly eat seeds and leaves and nuts and fungi and fruits. Some squirrels will also go as far as to eat small insects and even young snakes. Oilikers, dear viewers, what a twist in the animal kingdom this is. It is a play, a tragic comedy. A squirrel has padded feet that help it jump from high distances, even as much as 20 feet, or for our Canadian friends, about six meters in the metric system. The eyes of a squirrel are high on their head on each side, so they have a wide range of vision without having to turn their head back and forth. The squirrels also have chunky front teeth. Their teeth grow throughout their lives, so they must constantly chew on things. In a way, they are like a man who has found himself addicted to partaking in Taco Bell's happy hour. To easily help their way up a tree, they have also thrown personal hygiene cares to the wind and have long nails and claws to help them sink their way into the beautiful, majestic trees. The male tree squirrel takes twice as long as the female to groom itself. They're the cleanest animal in the rodent family, which doesn't seem like that much of an achievement, but oh dear viewers, you don't know. The squirrel's fur is quite silky and soft to touch, much like a man who has used an above average amount of conditioner on his hair and seems to have replaced his hair with silk. Squirrels communicate with each other through various vocalizations and scent marking. They also use their tails as a signaling device, twitching it when uneasy to alert other squirrels of potential danger and destruction. The next fact that I'm supposed to tell you is that squirrels mate twice a year. However, I'm not sure how family friendly we're trying to keep this, so just go ahead and pretend I instead said something about how a squirrel's nose is almost as warm as its heart. Squirrels can run as fast as 20 miles per hour, or for our Canadian friends, 32 kilometers per hour. In this way, they are the less flashy cheetahs of the rodent kingdom. The tree squirrels bury their acorns all over the place in a move known as scatter hoarding. However, these forgetful young fools often forget where they have planted their acorns, much like an awful lover forgets a promise. Forgotten acorns then move past their abandonment issues and become strong, independent, beautiful trees who have not yet been cut down to make the paper of a Justin Bieber notebook. My advice is this, and this alone. Be like a squirrel. And I don't mean that in a literal sense, where you toss out all your personal hygiene cares to the wind, and grow out your nails, and claws, and have really sharp front teeth, and run around the woods avoiding hawks at all costs, no, that'd be foolish! Be like a squirrel, dear viewers, and plant a tree, and do something good for the world, and help bring this world one step closer to the wonderful world that our friend, and our ally, and our fellow human being, Louis Armstrong, believed it could be.